I think we're live. Are we live? Ready to go live? I said, yes, go live. Okay. I don't know. Hey, it's Mark Gaffey, Jokes from the Jacuzzi. I, as you can tell, I'm not in the Jacuzzi quite yet, but, you know, it's uh, late enough already. I thought I would be uh, behind schedule in honor of our elections. So uh, we're going to get this started in a minute. I'm going to head out there in the freezing. Look at this, 32 degrees when I don't do, well, you can't even see that. Uh-oh, now, now we just lost, we just lost our studio lighting. So we're going to go get the backup system. Hang on, hang on. Oh, three and a half of you. This won't take long. All right, so guess what? Tonight it is going to be jokes from outside the jacuzzi. <laughs> the lights in the car, it's freezing out there. Just pretend there's a hot tub behind me. Well, no, I'd be in the hot tub, so that doesn't even make sense. All right, so. Jokes from the Jacuzzi Inside Edition, uh, not to be confused with the uh, TV show. I don't want to get sued, but uh, here we are. It is uh, November 8th, and uh, it's official with 98.8% uh, of the vote counted in America. It's official 100% of Americans are exhausted. This presidential vote count was so slow, I was starting to think Trump and Biden were the only people counting the votes. And President Trump and Joe Biden both closely monitored the election all last week. They said President Trump did not sleep for five days, and Joe Biden stayed up as late as 7.30 every night. This election, it kind of reminds me of prepaying uh, for like $20 gas at the gas station. The first 1950 comes out in about 30 seconds, and that last 50 cents takes about uh, 30 hours. I think one thing we can all agree on, no matter what your political party is, Arizona, Nevada, North Carolina, Georgia, Pennsylvania, really need to bolster their public school math programs. Man, Mississippi's like, see, we ain't so slow after all. In my home state of Nevada, what, still counting, really? We have 10,000 out of work casino dealers who could have knocked that vote count out in about seven minutes. Hey, man, tensions were high all across America. People didn't know how long the election was going to last. At one point, uh, the Portland uh, police started uh, rationing their tear gas. Yeah, Something's wrong here, though. I'm suspicious something is wrong, right? All this election craziness, and Florida's not even involved. Yeah. President Trump, though, he's, he's holding to his guns. He says, President Trump says he will never you, uh, make it through President Trump's last two months in office. Yeah. And uh, you Biden people, uh, just remember, Biden supporters, it's very difficult to evict a hostile tenant from government housing. We haven't heard from First Lady Melania Trump. She has made no public comment or public appearances. So uh, evidently she's busy packing. President Trump has filed a flurry of lawsuits. He's filed dozens upon dozens of lawsuits. Uh, he's filed so many lawsuits that his campaign is running ads to hire lawyers off a of Craigslist. And Rudy Giolani, Rudy Giolani uh, says he's found evidence of vote tampering, and uh, he will share it as soon as he uh, tucks in his shirt. You see him at the uh, Four Seasons yeah, in Philadelphia doing a press conference. What in the Four Seasons Hotel? Four Seasons Landscaping uh, Services and Snow Removal. Yeah, so evidently uh, Rudy worked out a president a, a deal for uh, the Bedminster Golf Course. He goes, hey, we'll do our our uh, 
press conference in front of your uh, snowblower garage and you give us uh, a free uh, leaf blowing at the golf course. So uh, what else? In COVID-related news, uh, Chief of Staff, uh, White House Chief of Staff Mark uh, Meadows has contracted uh, COVID along with five more White House officials. The uh, West Wing has been officially uh, renamed COVID Ground Zero. And uh, one more for you, nothing to do with the technology. Uh, China, first 6G satellite. That's right, China launched the first 6G satellite. The new 6G satellite is so fast, your phone will be able to send a text before you even thought of it. All right, well, that concludes the jokes from the jacuzzi. I had to go. The lighting took a dump, and I'm a wuss. I didn't want to be cold. Anyway, you guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, laughwithmark.com, L-A-U-G-H-W-I-T-H. M-A-R-C, my parents couldn't spell, as my website. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, uh, TikTok. What's up, TikTok people? All my Facebook friends and fans, uh, all three and a half of you. Thanks for watching, and uh, be safe out there.